well from Supplement Solutions again. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about preparing for falling. This is my Section D mare, Millie. She's 14 years old and she's due to fall in three months now. And um, as you can see, her, you know, she's growing really well. Um, so she's looking really, really well. I'm really pleased with her condition at the moment. I want to talk to you firstly about preparing yourself. So being ready for the big day. I'm just a hobby breeder. I've only ever had three foals, so I don't purport to be any expert. But what I can do is tell you about my experience and what I've prepared for. Now, I was fortunate enough that I attended a course at Tremlow Stud um, about foaling the mare, and it was absolutely brilliant, and I would recommend it for anybody that's never, you know, foaled a horse before. And um, I really enjoyed it, and it gave me so much more information. I'm also very fortunate that my husband's had quite a lot of experience of breeding in the past, so I also rely on his knowledge. And at the end of the day, I've also got the vet on the end of the phone. Um, anyway, so I want to tell you a little bit about what I do before we get to the big day. Firstly, these shavings will go, and this stable will be bedded down in straw. Um, the stable we're in is really great because the partition will swing open, and we can make one huge stable. Um, the, obviously, the gelding next door, he'll be moved out, and we'll do this at least two to three weeks beforehand so that the mare can get acclimatised to a stable. Um, we'll bed it down big thick straw bankings and a big thick bed right up to the front to make sure that the mare um, has lots of space and lots of straw. Okay, I'm also going to tell you about the foaling uh, bucket that we prepare. Now this is something that I learnt on the course that I attended. Um, so what you must do is get all these things ready. Don't believe in it till the day of foaling. You need to have everything in the bucket or in a box, whatever you decide to do. So simple things, even like a head collar, have it all ready in a bucket, ready to go. So we've got lots of things here. I'll just quickly run through everything. Tail bandages. Have a couple of tail bandages um, so that you can quickly bandage the tail um, when the foal starts appearing. Obviously don't bandage it beforehand because we should not leave tail bandages on horses. So this is from the day. You've got a towel there ready for wet hands, mopping up, anything. So just get one of your old towels. Get a few of these if you can. Um, we've got super lube here, which is basically a lubrication and some long gloves. We've also got some surgical, surgical scissors, a torch, whoops, a torch, make sure that it works. And um, we've got a um, a freezer clamp here for if you need to clamping uh, the umbilical cord if necessary. Um, we've got some hibby scrub which um, you use on the navel once the foal's born or you can use iodine. Um, there's a bit of different thoughts about that but um, the hibby scrub is absolutely fine for this. Um, now the other thing we have here is we have um, colostrum. Um, a foal must get this within six hours of life. So if for any reason your mare isn't producing enough milk or if anything happens to the mare, which hopefully it won't, but be prepared. It's a really good idea to be prepared. And if possible, it is really good to have some powdered colostrum. In an ideal world, you would give um, fresh colostrum, but that's not always easy to get hold of. And it's vital that the mare, that, sorry, that the foal gets this within the first three, first six hours of life and at the latest, the first 24 hours of life. Um, we do hold this in stock, but obviously, you know, it, it will take overnight to get to you. So bear that in mind when you're planning for your foal. Um, we've also got a bottle of wine, which I drank last night. <laughs> um, and the reason for this is uh, as a feeding bottle. Um, the teat just pops on very easily. Um, so have this ready, just in case you do need to give the colostrum. In addition, we've got the Aintree Foal Milk. Um, this is a mare's milk replacer, and you need to give this to the foal if anything has happened to the mare. Now, hopefully nothing will, but it's so much better to be prepared. This is available in a smaller tub. It's available in a one kilo as well. So if you didn't want to buy the five kilo, at least have the one kilo ready at hand. You wouldn't believe the amount of customers that ring up desperate for the foal milk, and they really should have had it in stock in their stable yard sooner and they wouldn't have been panicking as much. 
And um, also get yourself some measuring jugs. These are purely out, these are just out of my kitchen. And um, they've got measuring gradients on them. I've got a smaller one and a, and a larger one. The other thing that's really good to have in your kit is a quick fix, which is by Protexin. This helps when the foal's born. Um, if it has problems, if it's scouring, um, if it's not doing very well, the quick fix is a really good product to help kickstart its uh, digestive system. So basically, they're the main things that I would always have within the bucket. Now, none of this takes away from having experience. And I would certainly recommend that you at least have somebody that knows what they're doing with you or be prepared to call the vet. You know, folding a horse, they generally do fold themselves very well uh, on their own. But when complications occur, then you do need help. So don't be frightened to ask for it. Most of these things that we have here are available on our website, Supplement Solutions. So do go on there if you'd like to order anything. Thank you.